Kiss 105.3 and 1340, where hip-hop and R&B live the day party with your favorite DJ, DJ D. Sewell. Y'all, let's discuss some hip-hop news now. It is time for... D. Sewell, what the hell happened and today? a lot of stuff happened today. Y'all, I missed one day. Last Friday, we had the office Christmas party in OKC. Shout out to the parents. We had a good time in Oklahoma City. And y'all, a lot of stuff happened. R. Kelly dropping albums. SZA dropping a monster. Metro Booming got the number one album. A lot of... Gucci Mane dropped an album with 80 songs. Y'all, we got a lot to get to. So let's get started with SZA. SZA dropped... Arguably the best R&B album of the year and one of the better albums of the year. It's called SOS. It's going to move around 275,000 units, maybe 300,000 units. So it's going to be one of the best selling projects of the year. It'll be her first number one. It is a bunch of bops on that thing. I like smoking on my X-Pack. I'm rocking with that song. But it is a lot. There's a lot of bangers on there. I got to give SZA credit. She came back years later with a monster. I do have to say this, though, y'all. It is a very strange thing to me that R&B is not very big. But R&B from SZA is just different from everybody else. I can't explain it. I don't know. It's other good R&B out. It's just different when SZA singing it, y'all. She's just a hot artist of the time. It is a weird thing. Y'all, in other news, Metro Boone has the number one album in the world currently until SZA takes that over at the end of the week. But this is Metro Boomin's third number one project. It moved 185,000 units. Uh, Savage Mode 2 with uh, 21 Savage went number one. And his first project, Not All Heroes, where Cakes went number one. So big shout out to Metro Boomin. Huge accomplishment. I didn't think he was going to drop a number one album, but he did it though. Metro Boomin did that job. Y'all, R. Kelly dropped a project. I did he not drop a project. But Friday, a project called I Admit came out on streaming services, and then it disappeared from streaming services. Uh, like I told y'all, I was in OKC party, and I had seen it. It happened. I didn't really get a chance to check it out. I did see Boosie Boo say that it was jamming, and Boosie Boo wanted to know where it went. That's what Boosie wanted to know, y'all. So that's all I know about the project. They did say R. Kelly did not release it. Uh, his estate did not release it, so they try to figure out what happened. But uh, Boosie said it was jamming. Though. That's all I know. <laughs> y'all, something that did get released was Gucci Mane dropped the 80s song album. So Icy Boys, the finale is three hours and 51 minutes of Gucci Mane and Friends. I'm a Gucci Mane fan. I don't want to hear that much Gucci Mane. I'm just going to be 1,000 with y'all. I don't want to hear that much Gucci Mane. Straight up, y'all. In other news, and y'all, I thought this was a funny story. Freddie Gibbs was doing a recent interview. And if you don't know, Freddie Gibbs is from Gary, Indiana, the home of the Jacksons, y'all. Michael Jackson, Joe Jackson, Jackson 5, Jenny Jackson, all the Jacksons, y'all. Anyway, Freddie Gibbs and his daddy sings and is around the same age as Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was his daddy's arch nemesis, y'all. They was going to talent shows. His daddy was really good. He was in the shy lights. But y'all, this is Michael Jackson, though. Michael Jackson was consistently beating his daddy in talent shows. He said his daddy wouldn't listen to no Michael Jackson songs, wasn't rocking with Mike. He said he had to explain to his daddy, man, you was going up there solo. Mike going up there with his brothers and he had Joe Jackson. You didn't have a chance, Pops. That's what he had to tell him, y'all. Freddie Gibbs' dad had beef with Michael Jackson, y'all. It's a crazy story. Y'all, last but not least, NBA young boy, he signed a deal with Amazon for his own talk show. It'll be on Amazon's AMP platform. Now, the strange thing is, it was supposed to come out Friday, but I couldn't find nothing about it, y'all. He's supposed to have three surprise guests. Knowing NBA young boy, it probably didn't happen. Y'all, that is what the hell happened today. I'll be back tomorrow right here on your favorite radio station, Kids 105.3, 1340.